Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back information on the happenings where they happen all over the world and the land of Biafra to be precise. Uh, I greet you all of us of freedom all over the world. If this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, my wonderful people, uh, the only way you can appreciate the work we are doing here uh, is by subscribing to our channel. Also like, share share our news and on your notification button so that whenever we are uh, dropping news you will be the first to collect it uh, let's go down to the news proper uh, the information reaching us is that um p2b has sent message uh, to u.s government asking them not to take side uh, with tinubu uh, they should wait for court uh, to decide before saying anything and one thing you need to understand is that uh, these Western countries are very hypocritical, you know, in taking their decisions because um, they go on the side of power. Because as long as Africa is consigned, they, they make gain from Africa. They gain a lot of things from Africa. So they do their best to make sure uh, that they follow the man who is on the throne and they don't care whether Africa is falling or rising what they care for is the gain they are making from Africa. Uh, imagine Nigeria that has oil, crude oil, dump of crude oil, home of crude oil, a land blessed with crude oil. But Nigeria does not have a refinery where they refine oil. They export this thing to this Western country. And they will not go back there and buy it from them. After the white man must have refined the oil, extracted the, all the small, all the things in there, because in crude you have so many things. When you when you when you when you break it down, you get gas. You break it again, you get fuel. You break it again, you get kerosene. You break it again, you get tin. All those uh, all those things that are inside it, and you can imagine a country that has all these things. They don't even have a refinery, and they are begging. The Nigeria, Nigeria is moving around, going to beg. They beg China. They beg. Uh, 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 they beg uh, World Bank. They beg US. They beg, what kind of country is this? Where leaders without sense. And this is what these Western people like. They want Africa not to have a good leader. So even if uh, Peter B is thinking that they will support him, I don't think that these people will in any way support Peter B because they want. Leaders that do not have sense, so that they will be able to to be uh, uh, swindling Africa's world. Once they see that you have wisdom to to uh, uh, stop what they are doing in Africa, they will never support you. They will never never support you. That is this white people for you. They once you they see that you have wisdom, they will term you arrogant, and they will decide to make sure that you stay on the ground all the rest of your life. They don't want anybody that will know what they know. Meanwhile, let's go down to the news proper so that we see what Peter B uh, is saying to American government. You know, the other day that uh, the U.S. Secretary of State uh, sent message to to uh, Tinubu, the president elect, congratulating him. He also told him that uh, America will make sure that they work side uh, hand in hand with him uh, to bring a uh, better governance. Since they have been working hand in hand, what better governance have they brought to Nigeria? Tell me, what better governance have they brought to Nigeria? What better governance have they brought to Nigeria? Anama, Abbaf Tanuzo, Bwe, Abbaf Tanuzo, Ah, hello, Melo. Meanwhile, let's go down to the news. Peter B, the candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, has criticized the U.S. Secretary of State, Attorney Anthony J. Blinken for calling the president-elect Bola Tinubu. In a series of tweets on Friday, Obi said, since Tinubu's victory was still being challenged in court, the U.S. should have waited for the outcome of the litigation before responding to political developments in Nigeria in a manner that faintly suggests taking sides. He said, there is still a lack of clarity on the basis of the U.S. Secretary of State Attorney J. Blinken's call to APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu on 16 May 2023. 
The most fundamental tenet and core value of democracy is the rule of law. Nigeria's democracy is founded on this principle which the American people hold dear. Without the risk of interfering in Nigeria's domestic affairs, the U.S.-Nigerian relationship should be guided by the core values of democracy. Above all, Nigerians expect that the U.S. responses to our affairs should be based on mutual respect, shared ideas, aspiration, and interests which ought to transcend the consideration of any individual. Contentually, the willful manipulation and falsification of will of Nigerians as freely expressed during the February 25th election cannot be overlooked by the true friends and partners of Nigeria. It is thus of overreaching importance that a beacon of democracy like the United States should not respond to political development in Nigeria in a manner that faintly suggests taking sides. There is an evolving political and judicial process around the last presidential election in Nigeria. We expect the United States to await the full resolution of the ongoing judicial process before tactically conferring legitimacy on any of the contending parties. The final determination of the true winner of the election can only be made by the relevant courts of law. More so, the issues in judicial contention imply far-reaching violation of both the Nigerian electoral law and the Nigerian constitution. So my people, I don't see as if they have waiting uh, to be the try tell American government. Say uh, they should have waited for the, the final result of, of, of the court, uh, court of law. The court should have you know, give their final verdict before the uh, U.S. should start taking side. And if you look at it, you find that uh, the, the Secretary of State, the Blinken, is, is indirectly taking side with, uh, with uh, 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 Tinubu. He's indirectly taking side with Tinubu. And this is not how a government is run. If you people say you are Americans, you are the West, and you believe so much in democracy, then why will you now uh, be coming in Africa to be to be spoiling things? It's more it's more like you know spoiling things in Africa. Yes, this matter the the, the citizens say that uh, they do not accept the outcome of the election. The two parties involved say that they do not accept the out, outcome of the election. Meanwhile, the uh, American Secretary of State have moved you know even before the court conclusion to congratulate uh, 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 Bola Ahmed, which is very wrong. He should have waited. At least he should have waited for May 29th, maybe after the inauguration. Uh, hey, whatever he's doing now, we will know that okay, yes, Nigeria by themselves have decided. The Court of Justice of Nigeria has decided. Of course, uh, we know that Nigeria is a sovereign nation that uh, America will not interfere in their matters. But word of mouth matters a lot. Because now uh, the, 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 the Secretary of State of the U.S. have congratulated Tinubu, telling him that they will work hand in hand to uh, bring a better democracy in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the democracy you are talking about is, is still in the court of law. The parties refuse uh, that they do not accept the outcome of the election. The other side refuses that they do not accept the outcome of the election. Meanwhile, you have moved ahead uh, to, to start uh, congratulating uh, the, the, the president-elect of which you know that the case is still in court, that the court, court is it's yet, yet to, to, to conclude on the matter. So if you look at it, it seems as if uh, the U.S. is now taking side with Tinubu, and there is a kind of, this is, this is, is a kind of, a, a kind of manipulation. I'm telling you, it's, it's more like, you know, manipulating things, uh, because now, if, even if, uh, the, the person that, the judge, the way Africans are afraid, afraid of um, white people, the judge and the court might somehow, you know, be afraid. Since the U.S. have, have, um, have approved this thing, then what about him? Of course, you know that the constitution of Nigeria is, is a replica of what is happening in the U.S. And also, the, 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 the Nigeria uh, 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 system of government is, is a replica of that of the United States. Go and look at it. The system of government, the, the rule of law, and the everything. 
is that of United States. Nigeria copied everything that is happening in the United States. So I think the United States also should give Nigeria that respect in order to be able to uphold the rule of law. Let them wait. After the, the conclusion of the court, they can now make their comments. Meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news, you will be the first to collect it. God bless you for listening. Thank you.